Hi, I'm Gary Kotaski with Simtech Filter. We offer many performance products for the on-site wastewater industry. Uh, today uh, we're here uh, to demonstrate uh, for you our pressure filter uh, for uh, any pressurized system, uh, many times used uh, in Wisconsin mounds or similar systems, uh, sand filter systems and so forth. Um, we have here today with us um, our display unit that we travel to many shows throughout the United States and Canada. Um, and on our display we have uh, 44 one quarter inch holes um, which would be an average three or four bedroom home in most cases. Um, our pressure filter is uh, in gray is mounted to a one horsepower pump uh, uh, producing about 85 gallons per minute. It uh, uh, will start the unit up right now it, uh, and start adding debris. It, uh, here we go. Uh, the debris I'm using today is uh, a lot of hair and lint and tissue. Uh, we always demonstrate with uh, debris that actually could be found uh, in a septic system. Uh, some of this uh, debris uh, for, uh, came out of uh, clothes dryers. It, uh, uh, we have, uh, there is some particles of leaves, which is also in here. But, uh, I'll start adding that to the system. It only takes a small handful of debris to, to completely uh, destroy the, the proper function of the system. Uh, I'm going to load in uh, a couple small handfuls of that debris. As you see, as I load this debris into the system, we're, we're, we're not losing any of our discharge holes. Uh, this is uh, very important to keep uh, the system functioning properly 365 days out of the year. No matter how much or what type of debris that enters this system, it's going to be removed by the filter. And at this time, we're going to set the unit down and we're going to remove the cartridge. This will give you a chance to see what the cartridge actually looks like. But, uh, uh, I'll do that by removing it with our special wrench that actually locks onto the cover. Remove the cap. And I'll pull out the filter. This uh, particular unit is, uh, we're demonstrating uh, with uh, the use of our optional 600 micron sock. Uh, you can see much of the debris that's in the system that I, that I loaded in previously. It's already entered uh, uh, the filter cartridge. Uh, I'll add this uh, debris back to the tank and we're going to be showing you uh, uh, what happens when there's not a filter in place. Screw my cap back on. Now keep in mind this is with no filter. Okay, I'll turn our unit back on. Almost immediately you start to see holes plugging up. With, uh, you when you lose holes, you lose even distribution, you lose treatment. I refer to these systems as wastewater discharge systems. They're not wastewater treatment systems. Very important to use a pressure filter on, on a pressure system. Don't try to substitute that uh, with uh, other filters. Uh, we still recommend the use of filters upstream of pressure filtration, such as gravity filters in the septic tank. But you can't, you can't absolutely protect that system uh, without filters in the proper place. And in this case, this would be on the discharge of the fluent pump in the pump chamber. Uh, many codes uh, and uh, state regulations will actually require filtration from the dose tank. But, uh, 
As you see here, uh, most of our water is exiting three or four holes. Uh, those areas will become saturated and again, no treatment. 